mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 103, verses 1 to 5. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. For those of you who have a rejection or dejection, dejection in your soul, listen to me. Today is the day that you have to bless the Lord because the government of God have come down this morning, this afternoon, wherever your time zone is, to reign over your prayer, to rest upon your prayer, to move over your prayer, to bring answer over your prayer. So the Bible says, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The benefit of God for the year 2022. The fact the that your children is alive, your child is still alive till today. My shame is a benefit from God. The never that God protected your children from the, the, from the from trouble, from harm, from January to this December, is a part of the blessings of God and the benefits of God and the services. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Forget not all the good things that he has done for you. Forget not all the blessings and the benefits of life, the benefit, uh, benefit of good health, of sound mind that God has given to you. And the Bible says, Who gives, who forgives all the iniquity? My Shabia Satire, listen to me. God is a forgiving God. God is a merciful God. God is a faithful God. The Bible says, Bless the Lord of my soul. Bless the one who forgives all your iniquities and who heals all your diseases. My shame is satire. I need someone to remember the goodness of God this morning. And the Bible says, Bless he who redeems your life from destruction. Ah, do you know how many places your children have been? But the blessings of God, the benefits of God, the blessings of God, the faithfulness of God have kept your children from all evil and from all destruction. He said, Who grants you with loving kindness and tender mercy? Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth can be renewed like that of the evils? Listen to me. The Bible says, Bless the Lord. Oh my soul, go deep down my soul and begin to remember the goodness of the Lord. So I want you to lift up your voice this morning. If for nothing, if you don't have any prayer request, anything to bless God up, remember is the one that kept you in all those days in the year 2022. And now we're in the first week of the month of December 2022. So lift up your voice and begin to bless the Lord who has kept you and kept your children, who has kept your family who my shame has sat on your kataya in the mighty name of Jesus Christ if you are out there and you are looking for children bless the Lord oh my shame has sat on your for he is able to give you the benefits of a child he is able to give you the blessing of a child my shame has sat on your so keep it from watching the Lord Bless the Lord, all oh my soul, and forget not all his benefit. Don't forget your blessing. My name was for he has kept you throughout this year. He has kept your children. He has blessed you. He has protected you. He has provided for your children. Bless the Lord on that child that is not good. Bless the Lord on that child that is yet to be good. Because I know my shame is your prayers will not go on answer. Bless the Lord. Oh, that child that is giving you a hard time. This is my Savior Sataya. Because God is going to show you mercy. And He's going to show your child favor. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and God that is within me. Bless His holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. My God, the Lord of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. In Jesus, mighty name we are praying. Psalm 127. Psalm 127. Do we do me a favor today? Today is the, uh, is the first um, Tuesday of the month. That time that you are fasted. Remember, the first Tuesday of the month is the time that we fast. We come before God with our prayer request. The, I, I know that you have written your prayer request. You have written that your name of your children. And you have written everything that you want God to do for them. Today is the day that we are going to pray over all those prayer requests. So as I decree over your prayer request, and as I decree from the word of God over the life of your children, all you have to do for me is to say a resounding Amen. Amen means that you are in agreement with every prophetic declaration.
remind you that they are heritage from the Lord. They are heritage from the Lord. The Bible says, for the fruit of the womb is his reward. Your children will be a reward to you. In the name of Jesus. My let get tell the Lord. The Lord was why God created them. They will attend to later. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let our find the heart of the warrior. So are the children of one's youth. Let ours are in the hand of the warrior. In the name of Jesus. Your children will meet their targets. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, I said, whatever God has not created with your child, that is 
again. The land of Goshen is a place of comfort, a place of plenty. The land of Goshen is a place of protection and a place of sustenance. Listen to me. The land of Goshen is a place of comfort, a place of plenty, a place of protection, a place of sustenance. I pray that God will put your children in the land of Goshen today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your children will be located to their land of Goshen. In the name of Jesus. Listen to what the Bible says. In the book of Genesis chapter 45 verse 10, the Bible says, You shall dwell in the land of Goshen. And you shall be near me. You and your children, your children's children, your flocks and your herds, and all that you have. All that you have. All that you have. For those of you who are praying with me right now, and those who will pray later, all that you have. We dwell in the land of Goshen, Amen. where God dwells. Amen. You will dwell in the land of comfort. Amen. You will dwell in the land of plenty. Amen. You will dwell in the land of protection. Amen. You will dwell in the land of full sustenance. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Genesis 47, 27. Genesis 47, 27. The Bible says, So Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen. You can be in the land of Egypt. You can be in the land where there is sin, where there is all, all kinds of things taking place, where there is terror, where there is death, where there is calamity. You can be in that land, but you can be in, on this earth where there is problem, but you will dwell and you and your household will dwell in Goshen. In Goshen, you will be separated. You will be where the presence of God is. And the Bible says, so Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen. And they had possessions, they grew and multiplied exceedingly. You will dwell in the land of Goshen. Amen. I said, You will dwell in the land of plenty. Amen. You will have possession. Amen. Your children will have possession. Amen. Your children will possess this earth Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are looking for billionaires and billionaires, your children will be among them Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your, the names of your children, those names you wrote down in the paper, they will be right in the places of honor in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Your the names, the names of your children will be heard in the places of honor Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They shall dwell, possess their possession, Amen. they shall dwell in Goshen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. your children will multiply exceedingly. Amen. I said your children will multiply exceedingly Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever they lay their hands upon, they will succeed in it Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I feel in my spirit to pray for that child that is sick. Some of some, some children may be, may be sick bodily, but some will be sick in their mind. I pray that every sickness in the mind, the by shed together, will receive healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever your child needs, God of us we go and visit that child in the mighty name of Jesus and cause healing. Healing in the body and healing in the soul. Healing in their spirit. In the name of Jesus. According to the time of life and according to the word of God, the instruction of God right now. I call for healing. Healing in the body of your child. Healing in their soul. Healing in their spirit. In the name of Jesus. God will cause your children to be healed. Body, soul, and spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Exodus chapter 9 verse 26. He said, only in the land of Goshen. Did you hear me? The Bible says, only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, there was no hill. Only in the land of Goshen, the land of protection, where the children of Israel were, there was no hill. Hailstone was raining all of them, I mean, running, raining all over the place. It was dropping all over the place. But the Bible says that there was a, there was a law of exemption over the land of Goshen. I pray. Only where your children are, no matter what calamity is going on in this world, it will have no place in your children. In the name of Jesus. Wherever your children step to, it will become the land of Goshen. In the name of Jesus. Whatever evil is happening on the right, on the left, on the front, on the back, in the name of Jesus, your children will not be partakers of it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My shame has somebody say amen to that. Come on, say a resounding amen. amen. Now, I'm going to give you one minute because you fasted. You prayed, you believe God, you bring to the needs of your children. And the Bible says, this is the time, this is first Tuesday of the month, where we take time out. I give you your own time to pray on your children so that we can, we can all pray together with one voice. And the Bible says, Jeremiah 23 33 verses 2 to 3. The Bible says, God says, The Lord who made it, the Lord who formed it, 
This is from God who made your child and who found your child is saved. Listen, the one who will establish your child, the Lord is his name. And verse 2 says, Call on me or call to me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. So I'm giving you this one minute. Take this minute and pray for your child or your children. Whatever is in your list, come and remind God about them. Are you praying? Keep praying. I'm praying for you too. But you got this one minute. They are your children. Are you praying? You never can start. You must pray. You have this 40 minutes to 40 seconds to pray. We'll spend the last 20 seconds. Come on, pray. Over your children. What you have in the list. Lay your hands on that. It is in front of you. And begin to talk to God. What you are fasting on. What you are praying for. The Bible says, and God says, I will answer you. I will answer you. I will answer you. I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things. Come on, Kalaba Shetaya. Ode Bakata Leva Bashataya. Now you have 20 seconds. My Lekata Leva Bashataya. God says, Come to me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things. I will talk things around for you. I will begin to show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Come on, Kalaba Shuta. Ede Lekiasa. You have five seconds. Make Leva Bashataya. Mato Leva Bashataya. I take Leva Bashataya. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kalaba in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. As we've spoken into the ears of God, my shepherd, your Satan, your cup with me, and all your voices in one thing, one move, went to the throne of God. The throne of God, my shepherd, will be open for you. In the name of Jesus, there will be answers to your prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, he shall ask you to call on him. He will answer your prayer. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. He will answer your prayer. Amen. God will begin to show you great and mighty things. Amen. God will begin to show you things of testimony. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In Jesus' name. For every expectant mother, lay your hands on your womb. For the Bible says, this is a scripture that we use. Exodus 23 26 says, No one. Shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. You will not suffer miscarriage in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your hand is sanctified. Amen. So place it on your womb. That womb that you place your hand to. We carry a child. We carry a child. I will twist my shed yourself in the name of Jesus. You will carry to full term. If you have been having miscarriage before, no more miscarriage for you. You will carry to full term in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. My shepherd of Abasa, get your new womb. Every blockage in the Fallopian tomb is removed right now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. you will carry to full time. So shall this be. Amen. You will hear your voice Amen. and the cry of the baby. Amen. For every pregnant one, you will carry to full time. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Ghost. Amen. In Jesus' name, my shepherd of Satire, let me pray for you. May the Lord answer you in the days of trouble. Amen. May the name of Jacob, uh, the God of Jacob, defend you. May the Lord send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May the Lord remember all your prayers and all your offerings. May He accept your prayers this morning in the name of Jesus. May the Lord grant you according to your heart desire and fulfill all your purpose. The Lord will save you and answer you as you have called unto Him. In Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Say amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. I intentionally said amen six times because today is the sixth day of the twelfth one. The day when God has come to create everything new for you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you. I'll be with your family. May you have testimony. May you have tangible results. I'm excited for your next before the end of this year. Remember, we just have few days left, but you will have the testimony in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I love you with you. I love you very much. This is your host, Pastor Mary Tulani. This is Tuesday for Children and another Pastor's Mighty. Love your child.
Bye-bye.